Okay, so unless you've been like living in a cave underneath the ocean or just out in space, you guys all know that the brand new AMD RX 480 has hit the market. And this morning, as soon as that NDA lifted, we had that video for you. Now you guys can see in that video, and if you happen to miss it for some reason, we'll have it back here behind me. You guys can see that the RX 480 is doing really great at 1080p and 1440p. In fact, the scores are almost identical. There are you know, just barely even noticeable difference between the two, which is great. Now we omitted the 4K stuff because this card that we're testing the 8 gigabyte version, it's about $300. So it's not really geared for total 4K, but we're gonna do another video on that anyways later. But I know many people out there in the world have AMD based systems. A lot of people have 8350s, a lot of people have 6100s, 6300s. Basically there's a lot of AMD CPUs out there. Now you guys all saw that last week we built the Icarus system. And you guys all said, hey man, why don't you wait till the 480 comes out? Well, hey, all right, we told you we'd revisit it. So check it out we're revisiting so this is the pretty much the Icarus system with the brand new RX 480 inside of it let's test this mother fracker out and let's see how it does on the AMD platform and just real quick before we rock out to the benchmark song if you guys want a list of all these parts we'll have them down below that like button which hopefully you guys will go crazy on now let's rock out and let's check out those benches <laughs> So, all right, folks, there you have it. The AMD platform and the brand new RX 40. You guys can see that this thing is still pretty much consistently at 60 frames per setting with the games turned up with pretty much all their stuff to the maximum. You can adjust settings around, and if you want to, you can pretty much guarantee 60 frames per second in every game at 1080 and 1440. You might have to mess with the settings a little bit, but you can get there no problem, even with the games set at their highest things. You might have to sacrifice just like one thing or the other, but it's not going to really affect the overall game pay it's just a matter of preference so a $300 card in the AMD system you guys can see it's kicking ass now the only aspect about this card that like just wasn't very good at all was the overclocking the overclocking on this card just was not great whatsoever the boost on the card most of the time ran at about 1266 to 1267 which is really weird because that's almost exactly what AMD did predict that to be so that was very accurate in their department on that thing but beyond that hey if you guys don't want to spend a lot of money, and especially if you're an AMD fan, these cards are going to be about $300 for the 8 gigabyte version. And come on, 1440p, 10A, that's where most of the action is this day, these days anyways. And the 480, it's kicking ass whether you use an Intel system or, as you can see, an AMD-based system. I'm Elric, you've been watching Tech of Tomorrow, and we've got more videos coming up with the RX 480, gameplay, and more. See you here on the channel.